Two promising young students gone too soon. Tonight, a student-led candlelight vigil is honoring two teens killed in a car crash on Friday. George Malowski of Fayetteville High and Kyle Doherty of Eureka Springs High were both sophomores. 5 News reporter Ali Lynch is live at Eureka Springs High School with how students are remembering their fellow classmates. Eric, it's been a very emotional day and week, as you can imagine, for the people of Eureka Springs and Fayetteville. People packed into this gym here behind me for the student-led vigil that began today at 4.50, which is the exact time of the crash that the accident happened last week. In Eureka, everybody is like family. We, we lean on each other, we, you know, we love each other. and. Losing these boys is like losing a sibling. Arkansas State Police say six minors were involved in the crash, which occurred on County Road 219, right outside of Berryville on Friday. The report says that the vehicle was driving at a high rate of speed, lost control, and ran off of the road, hitting several trees before they came to a final stop. Madison Kennedy, a junior at Eureka Springs High School, said she saw how this tragic accident affected so many of her classmates. So she decided to take matters into her own hands and put the student-led vigil together to help the community. Once I saw how the students reacted to the loss of their friends, I wanted to try and help them and try and help the parents as much as I could. And by Monday, I'd already grieved as much as I could, so it was a little easier for me. Pastor spoke, students sang, and a slideshow played at the two boys who were loved by so many. Eureka Springs High School principal David Gilmore says Buddy and Kyle were truly special kids. Oh, they're great guys. You know, they're smiling all the time, uh, just happy kids. They had a magnetic smile and a magnetic personality would be the way I'd describe it. He says one of the fondest memories he has of them is their love for basketball. Uh, they loved the game of basketball. Every time they had a free minute, they were they were playing basketball. Uh, matter of fact, you'd have to run them out of the building sometimes when it was time to go home at night because they wanted to stick around and play. And I think sometimes they would hide in the building and stay <laughs> and stay in and play uh, just because they loved it that much. Now, both Eureka Springs High School and Fayetteville High School have both had grief counselors available at school this week for any students who may be having a hard time processing what happened. Live in Eureka Springs, covering news where you live, Allie Lynch, 5 News. All right, Allie, thanks. The four other boys in the car who were injured are expected to recover. Of the six involved, three went to Eureka Springs, two went to Fayetteville, and the other went to Berryville High School.